Hi friends, let's begin with pigments. Pigments are chemicals that can absorb light rays from the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. That is from 400 to 700 nanometer approximately, which is called as photosynthetically active radiation. Pigments include chlorophyll, carotenoids, xanthophylls, phycoerythrin, phycocyanin, etc. These pigments are located inside an organelle called as chloroplast. So this is a chloroplast and the exact site of pigment is a granum of the chloroplast. Each granum is made up of sac-like structures that is placed one above the other which is called a thylakoid. So the exact site of the pigment is the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast. Let us zoom in for better understanding. So this is the exact site of the pigment. These are photosystems where pigments are located. Here, these pigments receive light energy and convert this light energy into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH during light reaction of photosynthesis. That energy is used to fix carbon dioxide to carbohydrate during light independent reaction or Calvin cycle of photosynthesis. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand how chlorophyll A is different from chlorophyll B. We will be discussing why they name this primary and accessory pigment, the structure, occurrence and absorption peak of both chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Difference number one regarding the occurrence. Chlorophyll A is called the primary pigment that is present in all plants and all algae. It is the most essential pigment for photosynthesis. It is present in all photosynthesizing cells or all photoautotrophs. It is present in green algae, it is present in brown algae, it is even present in red algae. Then why red algae appears red instead of green? Because in red algae, the pigment phycoerythrin, which gives red color, is predominant that actually masks this chlorophyll or green color of chlorophyll. That, that is why it appears red in color. But remember, chlorophyll A is the principal pigment in all these plant groups, including all types of algae. The exceptions are some photosynthesizing bacteria where a special type of chlorophyll is present, which is called as bacteria chlorophyll. Whereas in the case of chlorophyll B, which is called as an accessory pigment, which is present only in higher plants and also in green algae. So this is our playlist on the topic photosynthesis, covering different topics of photosynthesis within 5 to 10 minutes. So you can refer that for more on photosynthesis. Please consider subscribing our channel also. Moving into difference number two, why called as principal pigment and accessory pigment? Chlorophyll A is called as the principal pigment. As we know, this is what is happening during light reaction of photosynthesis. This is cyclic photophosphorylation where pigments are grouped together to form a photosystem. So this is a photosystem. From that photosystem, energized electron is received by different electron carriers. During the process, ATP is produced. So let us zoom in this photosystem for better understanding. Chlorophyll A is called as the principal pigment or primary pigment as it acts as electron donor during the light reaction of photosynthesis. Here the light energy is received by accessory pigments like chlorophyll B, carotene, xanthophyll, etc. Then that is transferred to the chlorophyll A which is called as the reaction center by means of a vibratory transfer which is called as resonance transfer. So from chlorophyll A, high energy electron is released and is passed on to different electron acceptors. That is why chlorophyll A is called as the principal pigment. Whereas chlorophyll B is the accessory pigment, it acts as a light harvesting complex as you can see. The photons are received by this chlorophyll B and all other accessory pigments and that is channeled to the reaction center chlorophyll A. Recent studies indicate that chlorophyll B is having a prominent role in maintaining this light harvesting complex which is called as antenna complex. Difference number three regarding the structure of chlorophyll A and B. 
The chemical formula of chlorophyll A is C55H72O5N4Mg. Let me zoom in for better understanding. So chlorophyll molecule has a porphyrin head. This, so this is a porphyrin head. Then there is a phytol tail and this is a phytol tail. This region is a phytol tail. This is a phytol tail. So this porphyrin head is the light receiving region which is having a central magnesium with four nitrogen inverts. This is having four pyrrole rings which is hydrophilic. In the case of chlorophyll A, the side chain of the second pyrrole ring it is having a methyl group. This phytol tail is hydrophobic that is embedded in the thylakoid membrane. Whereas in the case of chlorophyll B, the only difference is in chlorophyll B, the side group at the second ring is aldehyde in the place of this methyl group. Therefore, the chemical formula becomes c 55 h 70 or 6 n 4 mg Difference number 4 and 5 regarding the absorption peak and color. So this is the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A and B. As you see in this graph, this chlorophyll A absorbs this blue-violet region and also this red region. It reflects green light. This is the flat region of this graph. Both chlorophyll A and B reflects green light. That is why plants appear green in color. Maximum absorption approximately Absorption peak is between 465 nanometer and 665 nanometer. This may vary in vitro depending on the solvent we are using for the experiment. In the case of chlorophyll B, maximum absorption is at the blue region and red region. As chlorophyll A, it also reflects green light. Absorption peak is around 450 nanometer and 640 nanometer. In pure state, the color of chlorophyll A is bluish green, whereas the color of chlorophyll B is somewhat olive green. This is a chromatogram. As you can see, this is chlorophyll B, which is somewhat olive green, whereas this is chlorophyll A that is blue green. And these are the differences between chlorophyll A and B. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.